Hello, welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready to work on it with me, press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so let's start by reading the question. Each day, Tony records the height of a plant. For her science lab, her data are shown in the table below. So we have the height, we have the days, and the plant continues to grow at a constant daily rate. So when you see that language, growing at a constant daily rate, uh, we can infer that this is a linear function. This is a line. Right in equation, you represent h of n, so the height based on n, the number of days, that's what that means, um, the height of the plant on the nth day. So n is representing days, and h of n is representing the heights. So what we need is the slope and the intercept, if we're going to write this in mx plus b format. So what's our slope? Well, it's constant here, so I'm going to just compare these two points. We go up 1.5 centimeters in one day. Right? So our slope is 1.5 divided by 1, which is just 1.5. So it's 1.5x plus something. Right? That's h of n. So now the b value is the y-intercept. So that's when the days are at 0 at the start. So we're just going to go back, using our constant slope, go back one day. So we're going to subtract a day. I'll make a little table right here to 0. And we'll subtract 1.5 from 3, and that's just 1.5. So at 0 days, we're at 1.5 centimeters. So our final equation is h of n uh, equals 1.5x plus 1.5. And my mistake is, oops, instead of x, right, we should use n because we're saying n is the variable for the input or the days, not x. So these should, should be n's here and here and here. All right, I hope that helped.